A new chapter in Florida's insurance crisis. Farmers Insurance is notifying the state they plan to cut about 100,000 policies, most of them homeowners policies. West Shoes Haley Crumble Home is in the studio to break down what kind of notice you'll get if yours is one of them. Haley. So Florida law requires carriers to give a 90 day notice to the state if they're planning on not renewing policies. Farmers submitted that notice today and insurance companies are also required to give a 120 day notice to policy holders, letting them know the date their policy will be canceled or not renewed. We spoke with a woman who had a policy canceled with a different company before switching to farmers. She's not sure what will happen for her next. It's really not fun to not know if your home is going to be insured. At the beginning of 2022, Stacy Shaley found out the insurance policy for her Claremont home wasn't going to be renewed. They didn't say why, but she suspected it was the age of their roof. Then we started the process of getting quotes to replace the roof because we now needed to find new insurance and nobody would insure us. Once it was replaced, they found a new policy. We ended up going with farmers. So when she saw the news that farmers was going to be cutting policies in Florida. I was like, uh, oh, we're going to have to go through this again. 100,000 policies will be discontinued, according to a farmer spokesperson. Most will be homeowners policies. Their spokesperson said in a statement, this business decision was necessary to effectively manage risk exposure. There is no impact to 70% of policies currently in force for customers in the state. James Owens owns an insurance agency with Brightway Insurance, an insurance broker. They shop around for policies for their clients. He got calls from Farmers Customers Tuesday. They seem a bit nervous, just, you know, wanting to make sure that they're going to be able to find some some coverage. Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, said he wants additional scrutiny on farmers following the news. As customers start getting notice from farmers, Owens is expecting he'll be getting more phone calls. I think it's going to start a flurry of people reaching out, and I think they're going to be shifting to going to independent agencies. Shaley is hoping she won't end up being one of them. I hope not. We'll see. Florida's chief financial officer said it is their expectation that if farmers cancels policies, all prorated amounts must be returned to policyholders and said they are currently working with the Florida Association of Insurance Agents to look into ways to do a bulk transfer of policies. Michelle.